Jesse Adler is an interdisciplinary designer and researcher. She utilizes her background in biomolecular science to assess the landscape of emerging sustainable materials while identifying under-innovated areas such as sources of renewable colorants. Jesse collaborates with fungi to challenge humans' relationship with color as it intersects with consumer industries with a particular focus on textile, cosmetic and food. Jesse created a makeup collection using pigments she extracted from ethically foraged and lab-grown fungi. This work demonstrates the viability of fungal pigments and their potential to reduce or replace our dependence on non-renewable colorants such as minerals and fossil fuels. I've collaborated with fungi to extract pigments, vivid pigments, blues, reds, yellows, orange. You put it directly on your skin, in your most sensitive areas, in your eyes, on your lips, all over your face. What do we know about that makeup? What do we know about the color in it? What do we know about the composition and how it impacts our skin? What if the colors that I extract from fungi could enhance the benefits of our makeup beyond aesthetics? Thora Arnold here develops approaches to integrating biological systems in the built environment through design methods and innovative biofabrication techniques. During her PhD at the Hub for Biotechnology in the Built Environment, she developed expertise in designing novel fabrication methods that utilize bacterial biomineralization to form calcified biocomposite materials. Thora also co-founded the collective BioBabes to explore and disseminate biofabrication processes to the public. Thora established Unruly Matters, a startup focused on design-led biomaterial innovation and biomineralized product development. Louisa Lernberg Skyam is an interdisciplinary designer who uses material exploration and biomimicry as methods to design innovations that tackle climate change. Louisa holds a master degree in global innovation design at the Royal College of Art and Imperial College London and has a curious and intuitive design approach, allowing her to bring a unique perspective to complex problems. Her most recent project, Resting Reef, is an eco-burial service that uses crushed oyster shells and bone ash to build reef structures that enhance marine growth. Life emerges and life ends. One might think that when we pass away, so does our negative impact on the environment. But this is not the case with current burial practices. Just in the US, these staggering numbers are a reflection of a large polluting industry. And in the UK, this is the yearly amount of CO2 released just from cremation. Our ecosystems are suffering as a consequence of our ongoing and sustainable actions. But there are ways to provide positive, long-lasting impacts after we have passed away. Resting Reef offers a burial where you will generate life, prevent coastal erosion, filter water, increase biodiversity and sequester CO2. Malu Looking is an interdisciplinary designer based in London. She graduated with a bachelor's from Art Academy in Berlin in the Department of Textile and Surface Design and holds a master's degree in biodesign from Central St. Martin's University of the Arts London. Driven by her fascination for the underwater world, for the past few years Malu's work has been focused on algae. In her work she explores the potential of both microalgae and macroalgae as a resource of regenerative aquaculture for today's material world and the future of food. She also co-founded the material innovation startup Mujo in 2020.
Cladophora is not just the name of the project, but actually also the name of the material that I'm using for my textile collection. It is a filamentous algae that grows in fresh and also in salt waters. And it is actually an algae that grows massively and even uncontrolled. For example, due to um, the massive use of fertilizers in the agriculture and also the raising temperatures of climate change. 